What's going on gals and guys? My name is Ryan, back with you for another video. Today we're just going to do a quick one on the screen print embroidery custom apparel side. Today what we're going to do is Scissor Brick 600 again. I've done this with a shirt, we did a layer, but I've had a few people ask me about hats. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Scissor Brick 600 and if you see this, this is actually a finished hat. There's a tiny little third chemistry logo on the side. So, with the outfit I have on today, we're gonna go ahead and use this hat. We have a roll here of scissor brick 600 in white. As you can see, it's a pretty large roll. I usually buy the uh, larger roll because if you break it down in terms of scents, you save quite a bit getting the larger roll. It does get up to, um, I think they have a roll for 10 bucks, 20 bucks. 67 bucks and then up over a hundred and the difference is Substantial when you get up to buying the larger roll So if you can afford it just get a larger roll and you'll have it on hand always also since we've obviously used white before I do have some scrap pieces, which is what we're gonna do today So first things first I'm gonna jump on the computer just show you real quick how I do it through Silhouette Studio. We'll jump down to the Silhouette Cameo 3 that I have in a 12 inch. I actually returned the Silhouette Cameo 4 24 inch, by the way. Do not buy that, there's so many problems, just FYI. But anyway, we're gonna use the three with one of these pieces and get down to business. Send it from the design to the Cameo and we'll get it cut up. So I'll see you guys over at the computer. All right, guys, so here we are on the computer, and then we're going to go up here to library, and we will go to thread chemistry. We'll do the exact same thing with this hat just to make it easy. We have this one. We're going to go a little bit, a tiny bit bigger. Um, 2.5 is about as big as you want to go with a hat height-wise. I'm going to go about 1. Let's go about 1.5. Now, remember, you always have to flip it horizontally. You want to cut it backwards. So, then all we're going to do is go to send. Now, we want to check. We have our scissor brick 600. We have it on a depth of 6, a force of, I drop it down 1 to 19, and a speed. I can go 10 on this since there's not a lot of cuts and curves. After that, we want to plug in our Cameo and you'll see right down here it was unavailable. Now it's ready. All right guys, so here we are at the Silhouette Cameo 3, as you can see, with our Brick 600. First off, shiny side down because then you always want to reverse your image. That way when you put it on the actual fabric, it'll be the right way. And also with our scrap, like I said, we are going to use, typically I cut it in 12 inch pieces but I don't need that since I have scrap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up on the line right there and if you see over here you have a lever you can unlock this and move it from side to side depending on the length of your vinyl brick 600 whatever you're using so we're actually gonna slide it right over here and then lock it in place and then flip it down then we're gonna get our vinyl lined up on the line and then all we have to do is press load over here. There we go. She's locked and loaded and ready. Let's head back to the computer real quick and get it sent. All right, so all we did is the computer was hit that send button. We had all of our depths, our force, so on and so forth. We had our image mirrored, we had it placed. And so we just hit send. And as easy as that, it's finishing. We'll go ahead and unload. And as you can see, TC right there. So now all we're gonna do is cut her out. Now might as well do it right down here on the floor. So all I do is I take my X-Acto knife and cut it out like so. So now we have our TC, being there's no indented circles like O's or P's or D's or B's, this is actually a fairly easy one. I just kind of take it like that, take off a corner and take off the excess. Make sure it's deep enough so you don't tear up your actual logo. And there you see we have it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and the hat and we're gonna head into the shop, into the hat press. If you don't have a hat press, I'm gonna show you another way to do it. But without further ado, let's head into the shop and get this taken care of. 
All right guys, so here we are at the hat press. This is actually the Stahls Fusion IQ 360 hat press. A very impressive hat press. I'm not gonna go over this with you. Uh, there's a lot of videos on how to do it. I think I even mentioned it a couple times in some past videos. But just real quick, all you would want to do is fold out that bottom brim, put it on here like so, take your logo, place it wherever you would like, put some heat tape on it. I usually keep mine at 310 on the top platen with the luxury of the IQ360 from Stalls. You can also lower the bottom platen, so I keep the top at 310, the bottom at 300 with a four pressure or a medium pressure and I do it for about 15 seconds. That's how I would do it on the IQ360 hat press. But a lot of us don't have the luxury of having this hat press, so I wanna show you guys another way to do it. So let's step over to the other side of the workbench here, and I'll show you another way to do it. Okay guys, so first things first, let's take our hat. We're gonna take our logo. We're gonna place it where we would like it. I thought about doing maybe just a straight up center, like so, but I think I'm gonna keep it classy, like myself, <laughs> and do it in the bottom left corner, like so. Another reason for doing it in this bottom left corner, like so, also is because if you even do have the hat press and you do it in a corner, what I've found is it's just too hard to get the heat plate to press on a side. Not necessarily to press the emblem on the side, but you can start getting burn marks around here. So what I've found is I take my emblem, like I said, a little bit of heat tape, place it exactly where we want it, take a heat glove, right? Make sure that you have a heat glove and Next, a basic household item that everybody should have is the iron. So, just like over at the hat press, I'm gonna take a piece of cover paper and I'm just gonna kinda hold it with my thumb and my back finger like that. This is a reason you wanna have a heat glove because it will get really, really hot under there. So, I just triple check that my emblem is in the right spot, cover it with the heat paper, take my iron on high, and I just kind of press it. If you can see that, I mean, you can't see the emblem obviously, but I'm just pressing it exactly where the emblem is. Even with these heat gloves, my fingers are getting a bit warm and we've moved on to hot. <laughs> and also one thing, a little trick, if you have a lot of different letters or separations in your logo, it's a force of habit to, to move your iron around just like you do on your clothes but try and just stick it there, just for a few seconds at least. Now we have it on there, so all we're gonna do now is let it cool for about five minutes, and with the power of technology, I'll see you in about two seconds. All right guys, here we are, back. One second later for you guys. As you can see, I'm wearing the hat. That's another thing. One thing about, a, a major advantage about hat presses is that they do have that curved, you know, heating press, which forms to your hat, well, when you use an iron, an iron is flat, and it does have a tendency, if you're not careful, to almost flatten the structure here where it should be rounded. So one thing I like to do is actually, right after I get done ironing it, is putting it on. That will actually help to restructure the structure, <laughs> the structure of the hat. And anyway, without further ado, I think we should be done. Let me flip on my other hat so you don't see my crazy hairdo, if you haven't already. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and just peel it right off. And as you can see, it works just as well as a hat press. That's the silicone 600, so it does have that little raised look. And just like that, you have yourself a brand new hat, whether you do it for your company or you can offer this to other companies. Scissor Brick 600 comes in red, blue, black, white, green, yellow, and then there's also some that I found, I think it's only 500 microns, Scissor Brick 100 to 600 microns, which is the height of it. The 100 microns is very, very little, so you can barely tell the difference, but in 500 microns, I found neon yellow, neon green, neon orange, neon red, so those are available also. It's a good thing to offer your customer. I think it looks really smooth and clean. Great for business opportunities. Get your foot in the door. Maybe find their logo online, cut it out on your Cameo, press it, bring it into them, say, hey, 
I was just wondering if you guys are interested in some hats, you know, construction companies, stuff like that. They love hats like that. So just go up to them, find a friend of a friend or acquaintance. Be like, hey, I got this new print, this 600, even though it's not new. Uh, wondering if you're interested, could hook you up a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. You don't need a business education. We're here for the hat. So anyway, guys, that'll do that. Uh, I think they turn out really nice, as you can see. I think they look really good. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Of course, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe as well. It would help me out. And until next time, guys, as always, I do appreciate you. Peace.